Pokemon Battle Styles is the brand new Pokemon TCG set coming March 19th, guys. Let's check all that we know. <laughs> What is going on Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel TCG Funhouse where we open up Pokemon cards and we try to keep you guys up to date on all things Pokemon TCG. So let's go ahead and dive right into the newest set that they announced, Pokemon Battle Styles guys. It is due out on March 19th of 2021 and is going to be the first set to come out after Shining Fates. Uh, it's going to introduce a new battle mechanic. There's a lot new V cards, V Max cards. Um, all kinds of cool stuff guys. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The very first thing that we are going to look at today is the actual announcement trailer from Pokemon themselves. Um, for some reason, the English one was removed. Uh, so I did find this one that is still from an official Pokemon YouTube channel guys. So you can check that out in the description below if you want to see the trailer yourself. But let's go ahead and check this trailer out and let's catch and see what they announced. Let's check it out. Armor guys, reminiscent if you've ever played it. Dark type, water type, and food. So the single strike cards and rapid strike cards. This is the new mechanic there now. Tyranitar is getting some love. Love it. Hound Boom. Awesome stuff. Urshifu is an awesome legendary. Love it, love it, love it. So cool, the graphics are amazing. That's the single strike, let's see what they're going up against. Oh, <laughs> Love it. So good. Get a speed on that. And Chloe, I'm getting some love, nice. And two. So cool, guys. I'm stoked. <laughs> the D-Max cards look absolutely amazing. So awesome. Again, another language there. All right, guys, that was the announcement trailer for Pokemon TCG Battle Styles, guys. Absolutely awesome. The graphics were amazing. Uh, one of the best announcement trailers that I've seen from the Pokemon company in a very long time made me very excited for the set. Um, a lot of cool Pokemon. I'm really glad that Urshifu seems to be the focus of this set. Awesome legendary Pokemon, super underrated. When he first came out, I remember being underwhelmed because uh, honestly, I think Cubfu is, is kind of lame of legendary, but as soon as you get that Urshifu form and the Pokemon uh, Isle of Armor expansion, absolutely awesome and I love it. So I'm glad he is a focus of an entire TCG set. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the resources for what we know on the battle style set, guys. And of course, you guys know that I love my Poke Beach and my PokeGuardian.com. So again, guys, check the description below so you can go check out PokeBeach.com and PokeGuardian.com, two great channels, excuse me, two great websites uh, that cover Pokemon and they really are on top of their stuff and they cross their T's and they dot their I's. So check the description below so you can get a link to both of them. Um, so let's go to Poke Beach first, guys. Uh, let's check this out. I check this almost daily. Battle Style is March's new set. Introduces new single strike and rapid strike cards. So you can see right here in English version. Releases on March 19th. And there's a couple of pack arts there of the single strike and rapid strike Urshifu. So really awesome pack arts. Kind of reminiscent. It gives me the vibe of like Sword and Shield meets Primal Clash. Like those are the two things that I kind of see just like melding together. So um, let's go ahead. Single strike cards deliver strong, hard hitting attacks while rapid strike cards are about sneaky technical strikes. Uh, but it's not just a Pokemon that can have the battle style. There will be a trainer and energy cards with them too. So a lot of changes coming to the DCG guys. This set could really mix up the meta game for Pokemon TCG, so that's a huge deal. Uh, as you can see, Houndoom, it's a single strike roar. Ability allows you to search your deck for a single strike energy and attach one to your single strike Pokemon. 
Awesome. Very, very powerful move right there. Very powerful move. Um, there will also be a new Embor with the Fighting Fury Stance ability, which allows you to boost the attack damage of all single strike Pokemon in an Octillery that is Rapid Strike Search. The ability allows you to search your deck for a Rapid Strike card. So it seems like the Rapid Strike and Single Strikes are going to become with different types of abilities. So there is the Houndoom right there with the Single Strike Roar. So you can just read up on it and do what it does. So it's going to be a new ability added to the game for Single Strike and Rapid Strike. Really good stuff. I really like it. Um, so let's go, go ahead and take a look and see what they've announced so far. So here's the cards that uh, we got some pictures of here. As you can see, the Urshifus, again, are the focus of the entire set. I love that. These artworks, guys. This could be my favorite artwork VMAX so far. I'm usually a little bit wishy-washy on the artworks for the VMAXs. Sometimes there's too much going on. You can't really see it. But this Urshifu single strike looks absolutely awesome. He's just ready to deck somebody out. I love it. Uh, and then the regular V cards for the Urshifus here as well. Uh, Tyranitar getting some love, guys. I've been waiting for Sword and Shield to show some love for Tyranitar, and here he is getting a V card. I wonder if he's going to have a VMAX card as well. Uh, so I'm going to be keeping my eye very close to it. We also got the announcement of an Empoleon V uh, for the Rapid Strike. So really cool there. Uh, super happy, guys. I love the logo. The logo looks absolutely amazing. The spikes flying off of it, really, really good. I, I just I can't get enough of it for sure. All right, so let's take a look at some of the product now. Um, here are the pack arts, guys. Empoleon, the two uh, Urshifus that we talked about before, and the Tyranitar. Let me know in the comments, guys, what is your favorite pack art uh, from Pokemon Battle Styles? So um, I would probably say the Urshifu. I like the Single Strike Urshifu. looks absolutely amazing. All right, so what I've noticed with the Pokemon Company, they like to do this sometimes. They will actually offer you two separate ETBs. It's kind of like something they've done from the beginning, right? So like when the game's released, you got pokemon blue and pokemon red and then you got gold and silver so they tend to do this a lot with their product because they want you to buy two when they release one elite trainer box you just go out and you buy the rebel clash elite trainer box but when they buy when they release sword and shield separate boxes you're probably going to buy one of each i know i did so they're doing the same thing here with the battle styles guys so they got the single strike red elite trainer box so you can see the goodies right here there's your sleeves yeah, pretty much all the same stuff that always comes inside the Elite Trainer boxes, guys. Eight packs, really good sleeves. Uh, and then they have the exact same blue variant for the Rapid Strike here with the blue sleeves. Eight packs again. Deck boxes look amazing for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, move on and take a look at the three-pack blisters. Guys, Jolteon getting a really awesome promo card here, guys. So the three-pack blisters are going to have a Shaman card. or I'm sorry, a Shaman coin. A really cool looking holographic Jolteon in three packs. And then its counterpart is going to be Eevee. So two really good choices uh, for the three pack blisters. There's nothing worse when the three packs come with a crappy promo that nobody wants. So both Eevee and Jolteon are going to be sought after cards. And speaking of crappy promo cards, this is not one here again, guys. Charmander. So single pack, single pack check lane blisters. You can normally find these in your Walmart checkout line or your Target checkout line. Um... Charmander, guys. So really cool and a really sweet Volcanion coin. And then the second one here, again, Arakuda. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Promo card, Arakuda. Probably not. You're probably going to be seeing a bunch of Arakudas in your checkout lanes and not a single Charmander because Charmander is awesome. Um, so let's just keep going through, guys. These are the uh, triple ones. These are, I believe these are Walmart exclusives. I've only found these at Walmart myself anyway. They're single pack blisters that come with three cards. And here is the Tyranitar. And the Corviknight, you can see they are uh, cards that come from other sets. So the Tyranitar is from Darkness Ablaze. And they both are. Corviknight's Darkness Ablaze as well. So, and there is your build and battle deck, guys. We do not know what the stamped promos are going to be yet. They have not been announced. Uh, but there is the deck art for the Pokemon TCG Battle Styles pre-release kits. So definitely try to get your hands on those guys because the value on them is really, really nice. Um, I do wonder if maybe we'll see these cards. I mean, it's, is it a coincidence that there's four of these? Or is it going to be Embor, Octillery, Mindshow, and Houndoom? That'd be cool. I'd be interested in that. I think it's some really cool artwork, guys. Here is, uh, again, that was part of the trailer, the very end of the trailer there. Uh, Japanese, 
announcements here. Ichigeki is what it looks like the single strike is called. Dude, that artwork is so good. So good. And then there's the rapid strike. Not as good. He's doing like a weird split type of thing. There's some toenails. Not my favorite artwork, but this one here, absolutely awesome. So good stuff, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the set. It looks like there's a couple of uh, trainer cards released for the Japanese set that's coming out in January, guys. So there is a January release of this set for the Japanese TCG. So make sure here's some Japanese exclusive elite trainer box or trainer boxes right here, premiums. You get packs, deck boxes, promo, Urshifu, and it looks like a Dedenne GX in there too to play. Good stuff, guys. If you want to know how. If you want to know how to buy Japanese cards in the United States, please check the comment or check the description below. I will link our how to buy Japanese cards if you live in the United States video down there. It's gotten really great reviews from a lot of people. Um, it's it's done really well for the channel. So go check that out, guys. A lot of people have thanked me personally for helping them be able to grab um, some Japanese product here. So really, really cool. Uh, just a couple of other uh, details and products here. It looks like here is the... Pokemon Center Online box here. We got the... Oh, what is her name? Oh, sh I don't remember her name. Um, but she's the promo deck. Similar to, looks like, what Nessa and Marnie were for uh, Legendary Harpy and Shiny Star V, respectively. Let's go ahead and pop over to Poke Guardian, guys. See if there's any additional information that we can find. Uh, doesn't really look like it. A lot of the same pictures here. Single pack blisters. This shows you where the promo cards came from. This was the Japanese version, um, so not too bad. Not much more information than Poke Beach has, so very similar. Uh, he did have some announcements on the Japanese side of things, so let me go ahead and see if I can find that right here, guys. Really cool. January merchandise release. This is going to be Japanese exclusive. Again, guys, you will be able to find these on my video. How to buy Japanese product in the United States. You can get sleeves, deck boxes, really cool briefcase. All kinds of Japanese exclusive product, guys. You can always want to go check those out. So let me know what you think about those items as well. All right, guys. That is all that we know about Pokemon TCG Battle Styles, guys. Comes out on March 19th. It's going to be coming out after Shiny Star V. So it's probably going to be the come down set. I think the hype level on this set is going to be very, very low. Shining Star, or not Shining Star V, Shining Fates, hype level, way up here. Champion's Path hype level was way up here. Even Vivid Voltage had some good hype. I think Battle Styles is going to bring everything down a notch, guys. It might be the first time that we start to see a little downward trajectory and being, like, uh, scalped and bought out and flipped and all that kind of stuff, guys. Even Vivid Voltage was hard to find for a while, uh, but my stores are completely stocked with them now. So, um, that being said, guys... I'm starting to get orders from our distributor, which is really, really cool. Um, so please, if you have any intention on pre-ordering some Shiny Star V, I'm sorry, Shiny Fates, or some um, Battle Styles, let me know, guys. I can get you on some pre-orders. I do have Vivid Voltage booster boxes available right now and some Champion's Path ETBs, and I'm expecting to get some Hidden Fates ETBs in the next week or so. So hit me up on Instagram, guys. That is also in the description below or Twitter. If you have either or, if you're interested in buying some products from TCG Funhouse. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. We post Pokemon card opening videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. We live stream Nintendo Switch, guys. Pokemon Sword and Shield with the viewers, guys. We're doing Dynamax Adventures and Shiny Hunting right now. So come hang out with us on Friday night. Memberships are active, guys, here on TCG Funhouse. So become an official member of the Funhouse crew. Click that join button down below to get some more information on that. Hit that notification bell, guys, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps on the algorithm, guys. We're trying to get out there and see as many people as we can and have some fun. With that said, guys, have a wonderful night.